Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove and today is going to be a little bit different. Today we're going to take a project that we already did a while back and we're going to take it to a whole new level. Let's get into it. Can he do that? He did. A while back we made this keepsake box and it actually came out really nice. It even has a nice little tray and felt on the inside, but there's a few things that I'm not really happy with. Number one, I feel like it's just kind of plain. It just looks like a regular box that you could see anywhere. Number two, I use some really strong magnets on the front, but I didn't actually put a latch on it, so it's actually kind of difficult to open. Number three, I use the only hinges that I had on hand, which are way too big and they stick out really far. So today, we're not only gonna change all these things to make some improvements, but we're also gonna add some extra stuff to really kick it up a notch. He's taking it to a whole other level. I started by disassembling the box and removing the self-adhesive velvet. I used a chisel and mallet to remove the magnets. Then it was over to the table saw to remove just enough material to get rid of the holes from the magnets. Because the lid was now shorter, the tray wouldn't fit, so I used my multi-tool to trim the ledges on both sides, making sure to give you the best camera angles possible. Once the modifications were finished, I hand sanded the outside of the box to prep it for new finish. I put my longer Ray 5 laser engraver to work on the lid of the box with the design that I worked up on Photoshop. I had to remove the shield from the laser so that I could get past the lip of the box lid, but don't worry, I was fully protected at all times. I'm not a big fan of the yellowish look of this oak, so I stained the outside with this cool blue gel stain that I picked up at Home Depot. Once the box was dry, I added a few coats of spray-on lacquer. I managed to rummage up a scrap piece of the same oak that I used to make the box and I made a partition for the tray that will also act as a handle to pull the tray out. That's a great idea. With everything dry, I applied some self-adhesive felt to the bottom of the box, the tray, and the box lid. Then it was time for reassembly. I added some little black hinges to the back of the lid. I also added a latch to the front of the box using a washer as a spacer so the latch would sit up off the wood and work a little bit smoother.
All right, our keepsake box upgrade is finished and I gotta say, I am really happy with the end results. For real this time. When I first built the box, it came out fine, but I really wasn't satisfied with it and really didn't know what to do with it. But now I've hit all the points that I wasn't really happy with and I'm so excited to put this thing to use. The longer Ray 5 laser came in really handy to be able to customize this box and I really like this dark blue stain. It is just a super cool look. The hinges and the new latch are a big improvement upon the massive hinges that I had before in those really tight magnets. And adding this little divider in the tray made a huge difference, just makes it much easier to use. I hope this video encourages you that it's okay to revisit projects if you're not 100% happy with how it came out the first time. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the upgrades to this box and a big shout out to Longer for supporting our channel. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.